Some journeys have a clear starting point and a destination in mind. This journey is not one of those. The journey that has brought Interface to a pond common ground was one that they only realised they were on once they were halfway there, and it started over 60,000 years ago. Interface has been a part of Australia and their community in southwestern Sydney for over 50 years. In that time, Interface have always sought the input from experts in spatial design. In 2017, they convened a meeting with a unique group of experts in Singapore to discuss the creation and future of confidence building, productive environments. Over the following two years, Interface engaged with Australian-based architects, designers and consultants to delve deeper into the workshop's findings. In parallel, Interface was undertaking its first Reconciliation Action Plan, a key program that Australia has developed to empower and support positive outcomes for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. They held factory tours and talks with local Indigenous students and found the experience to be enriching for both the kids and their business. As they were discussing the findings of their design forums with the students and teachers, Interface discovered that the design forum outputs mirrored the traditional Indigenous ways of connecting and storytelling. They started to understand the traditional knowledge and practices of the dreaming and the important place these could have on the future work of Interface. The light bulb moment led to the home project, a project of collaboration, experience, immersion and connection. Partnering with Danielle Sullivan, a contemporary Aboriginal artist, they travelled to explore what connection to country means to First Nations students and their elders. Students from four schools were involved in using the medium of art to help bring to life the sounds, sights, smells, touch and feelings of their land. They explored five regions, freshwater, saltwater, rainforest, desert and spin effects. Armed with a deeper understanding of what the land means to Aboriginal people and with the students' artworks, they had the tools to bring connection to country, to life in a new product collection. In creating the product collection, they were committed to it being a genuine representation of what they experienced in country and everything that they had learned in the design forums. There could be no compromise. After a six month development process, the colors, patterns and textures were turned into product and trialled with real fabrics at their Minto plant. The next stage was easier, with world-class production facilities at their disposal. They turned the ideas into commercial grade flooring. Now, they stand ready to release the Upon Common Ground collection. It is a range born of their desire to learn, engage and innovate. Is this the end of their journey? Not even close. They now clearly understand what this journey means and the release of Upon Common Ground is just the first stop. Yes, does that do it? Yeah?